This is Twit. Android. Uh, this is really welcome news, but I'm a little puzzled by it. Android to auto reset app permissions on many more devices. Last Friday, Google announced that later this year, support for Android 11's privacy protection feature, which debuted a little over a year ago, it was on September 8th of 2020. Um, okay, th that feature proactively resets unneeded app permissions for applications that haven't been used in months. That feature would be made available to billions, okay, potentially, of devices running older Android versions, or at least to any of those which are able to update their OS. And this is great news. Very much like having old and unneeded database information like purge itself, which we wish database information did, but it doesn't, but auto-removing unneeded, and that is to say unused permissions, is obviously terrific security. It's unfortunate that so many older Android devices may never be able to obtain this. Google boasts of 3 billion devices running Android, but the timeline demographics of their versions suggest that older versions are not rushing to update. I've got, I grabbed a beautiful chart, which is in the show notes, and the chart makes the trend clear. Android 11's adoption is growing almost linearly, but maybe slowing down slightly as we'd expect. But nearly all of its growth is coming from Android 10, that is to say, this chart, for those who don't see it, thanks, Leo, for putting it up, the Android 11's adoption going up almost exactly mirrors Android 10's coming down, which tells us that, that you know, Android 10 devices are being updated with Android 11. The lines for Android 8 and 9 being the next two most recent versions are drooping a little. So they're being upgraded, presumably, to 11. But the older Androids are holding pretty firm. Uh, and this is what we'd expect, right? You know, in time, the batteries of those increasingly decrepit Android devices will fail. Or their radios will become obsolete as cellular technologies advance and they're no longer able to find a cell tower that still supports 1G. Uh, so they'll eventually be tossed into the recycle bin and their components and precious metals will hopefully be reprocessed to make new gadgets. But for those devices which can upgrade, this new and very useful feature will become available on all devices with Google Play services running Android from 6.0, which is API level 23, through Android 10. That is, you know, 11 already has it, so they're catching up, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. In their posting, Google said, starting in December 2021, we are expanding this to billions more devices. This feature will automatically be enabled on devices with Google Play services that are running Android 6.0 API level 23 or higher. On these devices, users can now go to the Auto Reset Settings page and enable slash disable Auto Reset for specific apps. The system will start to automatically reset the permissions of unused apps a few weeks after the feature launches on a device. Okay, now I studied Google's announcement and I came away unsure whether this would be enabled by default on older devices. As we know, thanks to the tyranny of the default, the only thing that matters is whether this is enabled by default. The reason this is confusing is that Google's announcement says, and I'm quoting them verbatim, quote, this feature will automatically be enabled on devices with Google Play services 
that are running Android 6, API level 23 or higher. The feature will be enabled by default. Okay, so enabled on devices running Android 6.0 API level 23 or higher. The feature will be enabled by default for apps targeting Android 11 API level 30 or higher. However, users can enable permission auto reset manually for apps targeting API levels 23 through 29, which is to say prior to the API level prior to Android 11. So this suggests that even when older devices are updated, their older apps which might remain unaware of the new support offered by Android 11 at API level 30, would not automatically be enabled. Presumably, Google was unwilling to change this behavior without the user being aware. But if I'm understanding this correctly, I think that was a mistake. You know, just ask once for all older apps. It certainly isn't burdensome for the user to say, no, no, I, I want to leave things as they are. Uh, you know, that would not be unduly burdensome. Uh, and it's the older devices that are most in need of having their security shored up. So if I understand it right, I do wish Google had decided to be a little more intrusive, but props to them in any event, for adding this feature to Android. As I said, eventually devices not running Android 11 will just disappear from the face of the earth. They'll just, you know, though they won't be usable any longer. And that'll be good because this idea of automatically downgrading the permission of, the, you know, that you gave an app a long time ago that you haven't used, yay. That's the way the world should work. Yeah. Uh, I should point out that a lot of Android of the older Android versions are running on things like coffee makers. My toaster oven uses mm. Android. Um, a lot of a lot of my appliances run on Android. Good I doubt point. they'll ever be updated. Good. But on the other hand, <laughs> I don't care for app privacy because I'm not running any apps. So right, right. Um, it's more security I worry about. And again, they're not using a browser. They're just you know, it's just. Uh, but just being a little OS. Yeah, it's just a little OS because it's free. Yeah. And so a lot of people yep. do that. It doesn't even have Google services on it, I'm sure.